This has been just an outstanding feast, the Passover, the continuation of the Feast of Unleavened Bread has just been incredible. I want to tell you all something. Do you realize there could not be a true Passover until the Son of Yahweh appeared? Do you all realize that? There is no true Passover. Everybody else before Yahweh was going through the motion. But now we're talking about a true Passover. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. And our theme, the book that we're studying from, slash transcript, is How to Overcome the World. Isn't that incredible? Yes, sir. How to overcome the world. How many of us did not know how to overcome the world until Yahweh and Yahweh came? Didn't stand a chance. Didn't even know I had to overcome until Yahweh and Yahweh came. Praise Yahweh. Let's go to Isaiah 9 6. Isaiah 9 6. 7 6. 9 6. Unto us. 7-6? Do we have that? Anybody have it? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Let us read. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. The mighty God, the everlasting Father. Praise Yahweh. Oh, yes. Woo, thank you. And the Prince of Peace truly what this world need. Praise Yahweh. But who was he born to? Do y'all know why he was born unto us? Yes. I hear somebody very intelligent in here. Oh, praise Yahweh. I want you to go to uh, Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. Deuteronomy 18.18. 18. Do we have that? Let us read. I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee. And I will put my name, my, excuse me, my words in his mouth, and he shall speak to me all that I shall command. Verse 19. And let us read. And it shall come to pass that whoso will not hearken unto the voice. Excuse me, am I going to read? Let's try that again. 19. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name. In whose name? In my name. Yes, I will require it of him. When Yahweh bin Yahweh proclaimed the name Yahweh, that was the start of our deliverance. That was the start of our passing over. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. When we look at the word Passover, pass means to leave this world's mindset behind them. Pass means to leave this world's mindset behind them. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. So we, that means we're going to give up this mindset, right? Is that all right with us? Praise Yahweh. Pass over, over means to be above something. Is that true? To be above something? So in this world of confusion, we're going to pass over it mentally. Physically, we'll be walking right here 
but we have the mind of who? Yahweh, Yahweh been Yahweh. Right? Yes, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Passover also means to cross over. It means to go over. It means to go through. To go beyond. To go forward. It also means to lead. Praise Yahweh. So when we're talking about the Passover, the children of Yahweh ben Yahweh that's passing over, we have a responsibility. And that responsibility is to lead in righteousness. That's our responsibility. That's why Yahweh ben Yahweh came to us so that he can resurrect us to continue his work. Is that all right? Y'all yes, sure about that? Oh, yes, The principal meaning of the Passover verb is to have movement in relationship to something that's stationary. Praise Yahweh. Now all of this is in reference to our mind. And understanding this, it may bring some joy to you. This could not take place until Yahweh ben Yahweh came on the scene and gathered us. I, I, you see how many people in here this evening? That I consider all of us highly blessed. Not just blessed a little bit, but highly blessed. And don't get confused by you seeing a few people because remember it was Yahweh ben Yahweh one and we seen his work and he said that we'll do a greater work. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Greater work than Yahweh ben Yahweh? That's because it's going to be 144,000 of Yahweh ben Yahweh. And our responsibility is to go out and seek our counterparts, those that are going to pass over, lead in righteousness, be the example for the world to follow. You know this world needs leadership, right? You notice that the whole world in chaos is tied to its present leadership. You do realize that, right? When you look at television, it's all about all kind of crime and murder and, and all kind of depressions and just all kinds of unequitable, unethical un, uh, things going on in the planet Earth. Do y'all realize that? Do you see it going on over the whole world? Do you see that nations are turning against their leadership? Well, that's Yahweh ben Yahweh doing that. And at the same time he's bringing them down, he's raising us up. So we have to be those righteous examples of Yahweh ben Yahweh. There's a book entitled, How to Overcome the World, that's written by Yahweh ben Yahweh. What kind of gift would you consider that for him to overcome the world and then to write a book so that we can do the same thing, overcome the world. Do anybody have that book on them right now? Could, could one of y'all get the book off the table? We only have one more of these books. And I want you to turn to page 26, the last sentence in the first paragraph. Y'all all right this evening? Page 26. The last sentence in the paragraph. Do you have a brother kiss yes, sir. Would you read that please? Read it loud. Yahweh shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Psalm 54. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness. For Yahweh is judge himself. Psalm 76. 
page 26. Yes, sir. Last paragraph. I want y'all to pay very close attention to this. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Could y'all hear? Yes, sir. Abstain. Did it say very or all appear? All. All appear. So if he's telling us to abstain from the appearance of evil, then you know what good and well we can't be doing no evil, right? But he doesn't surpass that. He say abstain from the very appearance of all evil. You don't hear that? Does that does that kind of signify to the world who his children are? That's how the world gonna know who Yahweh Ben Yahweh is through us and our works. Because we say that he's our Lord and Savior, right? So if we say that he's our Lord and Savior and really mean that, that means we're going to pass over. We're going to leave this world's mindset and take on the mindset of Yahweh ben Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Now I want you to, I really want to emphasize, I consider this one of the most important books that Yahweh ben Yahweh has ever written. Because to be who we are to be, we must overcome the world. And he has written a book how to do it. The process of how to do it. Praise Yahweh. Praise. Now just write this scripture down in Psalms 19.7. And it says that the law of the Lord Yahweh is perfect and the law will convert your soul. The testimony of the Lord Yahweh is sure, making wise the simple. So when you have the word testimony, that means you had to have for someone to testify, then they had to be a witness. So Yahweh, Yahweh is the witness that this law, that that book will convert your soul. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh ben Yahweh. Praise Yahweh ben Yahweh. Well, I hope you understand the few things that I've said. If you don't remember anything else, get yourself how to overcome the world and study that book. We're not out of time, but we don't have as much time as we used to have. So we need to get that book and study it like and become and, and inculcate the book. Become the, rep, the true representation of our Father Yahweh Ben Yahweh. So that we can share and show the world that we have overcome. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Thank you. Sir? Praise Yahweh. See